Are you aware of how important oxygen is to our bodies? What happens when oxygen levels drop too low? In this video, we're going to take a closer look at what happens when oxygen levels drop to a critical level of 70. So, stay tuned to learn more about the potential dangers and how to increase oxygen levels. What is a normal oxygen level? When we talk about normal oxygen levels, we refer to the range of oxygen saturation in your blood. This range can vary slightly depending on factors such as age, health status, and altitude. Typically, a healthy individual will have an oxygen saturation level between 95% and 100%. However, there are various factors that can cause oxygen levels to drop, such as lung diseases, heart problems, and sleep disorders. In addition, environmental factors such as high altitude and air pollution can also lead to decreased oxygen levels. It is important to be aware of these factors and to take steps to maintain normal oxygen levels, such as engaging in regular exercise, eating a healthy diet, and avoiding exposure to pollutants. What happens when oxygen levels drop to 70? When the oxygen levels in your blood drop to 70, your body might manifest a variety of symptoms. You may feel a shortness of breath, as if you're gasping for air, which can be quite frightening. You may also experience confusion, as though you're unable to comprehend what's going on around you. In addition, you may have a rapid heartbeat, which can cause chest pain and lead to feelings of anxiety. Your vision may also become blurry, making it difficult to see clearly or focus on objects. Finally, you may feel fatigued, as if you're lacking the energy to perform even the simplest tasks. All of these symptoms can be difficult to bear and they can have a profound impact on your quality of life. It's therefore important to be aware of the signs of low oxygen levels and to seek medical attention immediately if you experience any of these symptoms. When oxygen levels drop to 70, the consequences can be severe. The human body requires a steady flow of oxygen to function properly, and when this flow is disrupted, the results can be catastrophic. While the immediate consequences include damage to vital organs, brain damage, coma, and even death, the long-term effects can be equally devastating. For example, individuals who survive a prolonged period of oxygen deprivation may experience memory loss, difficulty concentrating, and other cognitive impairments. In addition, there may be psychological effects, such as anxiety and depression, that can linger long after the incident. Therefore, it is crucial to maintain awareness of oxygen levels and take steps to prevent them from dropping to dangerous levels. How to increase oxygen level? There are several things that you can do to increase oxygen levels in your body. Some of these tips include using supplemental oxygen. This is one of the most effective ways to increase the amount of oxygen in your body. Your doctor may prescribe oxygen therapy if your blood oxygen levels are low. There are several devices that can be used to deliver supplemental oxygen, including nasal cannulas, face masks, and oxygen tanks. Changing positions to improve breathing. If you are having difficulty breathing, changing your position can help. Try sitting up straight or leaning forward to open up your airways. You can also try lying on your side with a pillow between your legs to improve your breathing. Practicing breathing exercises. Breathing exercises can help increase the amount of oxygen in your body. Some exercises that you can try including deep breathing, pursed lip breathing, and diaphragmatic breathing. These exercises can help improve lung function and increase oxygen levels. Addressing underlying conditions that may be causing low oxygen levels. There are several underlying conditions that can cause low oxygen levels, such as COPD, asthma, and pneumonia. If you have one of these conditions, it is important to work with your doctor to manage your symptoms and treat the underlying cause of your low oxygen levels. This may involve taking medication, using a breathing machine, or making lifestyle changes to improve your overall health. In conclusion, we hope this video has shed light on the dangers of low oxygen levels and the importance of maintaining healthy levels. Remember to seek medical attention if you are experiencing any of the symptoms discussed in this video and take steps to improve your overall health. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. 
Thank you for watching.